and welcome to a tarot video i haven't talked to you guys in actually so long um wow i mean i kind of did because i made a book reading vlog but i know that you guys don't like my reading vlogs i'm gonna keep making them because i just i want to i'm almost 30 like i want to be able to about all the content that i love and i love astrology and tarot but i also love reading romantic books or romance books silly romance books so anyways i pulled some cards for how your summer is currently going and how it's going to be for the rest of the summer and i have mutual cardinal and fixed signs star i would prefer you apply your moon sign i feel like that is just the most accurate for tarot readings because tarot is how you feel and the moon is your emotions star okay we're gonna quickly go over the cards so we have i'm gonna stand up we have three of pentacles strength reverse pink ten of wands page of cups seven of cups page of swords knight of swords and temperance so currently now this is again for mutual signs so if you're sagittarius gemini virgo or pisces this reading is for you this is your how your summer's going and how it will be so with three pentacles reversed and strength reversed the first thing that i see is you are in a collaborative effort there's like a group of you and maybe your family or your friends and you're all like trying to work together but I think the issue that's happening is that with ten of wands also in the mix it's almost like a lot of people are expecting you to do a lot of things and it's almost like they didn't really ask you how you feel about it they're just telling you like this is what you're gonna do and I think you're typically someone who likes to take on a lot I feel like you're draining yourself you're fatiguing yourself for the sake of trying to be like devoted to other people and I think it's leaving you feeling like there's not a lot of time and energy for you the summer starts a little rocky i'm not gonna lie it starts with like a lot of people pulling at you in every direction and i feel like your own sense of self-confidence is a bit low you're like questioning your own self you're feeling fatigued you're just not feeling your greatest now towards the middle of the summer so let's talk like maybe july like this is the june rundown strength reverse three of pentacles reverse and ten of wands but in july i have page of cups seven of cups and page of swords so i think that you kind of go through this clarity moment where you're like you know what maybe i need to pull back from certain social situations or social obligations so that i can put more energy and time into myself i think that you kind of go through like a cutie little i'm gonna go have fun i'm gonna try new things i'm gonna go to this pottery class i'm gonna go to this art class like i'm gonna um step outside of my comfort zone i've been dealing with other people's emotions for too long and now i need to kind of like focus on something that's decompressing for me this could be even be like you signing up for like a pilates class or i don't know trying something outside of your comfort zone and i think that you feel a lot better when you're controlling your own narrative in a way i think you have to release some kind of obligation in june and you have to pivot away from certain relationships so that you can put more energy into pushing yourself away from your current environment to embrace a better environment whether that is like again maybe going and joining a book club making yourself meet new people and not to say that everyone in your current life is bad for you but sometimes we need to shake a little bit out of our usual routine and comfort zone so that we can learn more things about ourselves and more things about what we like and don't like about other people and i think that's kind of what you're doing also maybe you're doing some kind of school some kind of education or course with page of swords i feel like you're really uh intellectually stimulated in july this could even mean like a situationship like witty banter that kind of thing um in august i have knight of swords and temperance so this makes me feel like you're starting a new chapter in your life but i also feel like you're starting a new project um maybe you're starting a new job but it's also like something on your terms something that's fulfilling to you or um harmonious to you so i feel like you're starting your own business or you're starting your own youtube channel or tiktok something around you starting something for yourself that makes you feel incredibly excited there's like a lot of excited energy but you're also learning how to find a balance so this is interesting having the temperance card in august because in june you were like burning yourself out the candle is burning at both ends you're very much like how do i be everything for everyone um and you're not really showing up for yourself with strength or strength the reverse you're kind of questioning your own sense of self uh not feeling that great not feeling that cutie but then in july you kind of have like a me time a selfish time in a sense where you're like i'm gonna do as many things that i want to do that i feel are right not answering your phone when it rings all the time just because someone wants you too like you're setting your own tone however in august i think it kind of full circles out and you like balance out okay in june i was so overextended but in july i was super selfish so now in august i'm gonna find a good balance between the two like i'm gonna say yes to some obligations but doesn't mean i have to say yes to all of them and i'm also allowed to say no like it's better to say no and have people be like offended in the moment than do something you don't want to do feel resentful and then kind of come off fake so that is the vibes 
for the summer. Definitely, though, something is happening in August. So I think it's going to be you starting a new hobby, going back to school, which makes sense it's August, or uh, some kind of small business, YouTube, maybe write a book, something about you starting something that you are really excited about so but july july is kind of playful july is kind of like do what you want when you want to an extent <laughs> but yeah that is the rundown again you guys if you've already watched my old youtube videos with tarot you know i'm to the point i'm quick i'm, I'm too add to talk for 40 minutes i'm sorry i'm not that one um but yeah so this one is for my cardinal signs um Cap capricorn aries libra cancer Yeah, I said all of them. Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Cancer. Okay. I'm doing well. Um, so this is... I have Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, The Fool. Well, I'll just show you. Ace of Wands, The Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. A Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and King of Swords reversed at the beginning of the summer. So this is June's vibe. I feel like you're kind of getting away with something or you get something but it's not going to be how you want it. Um, you're getting something, you're getting your way about something, but you're being a little calculated, you're being a little sneaky, potentially even a little bit gluttonous. Um, I have like kind of hoarding vibes, babes. I have four of pentacles, seven of swords, and king of swords reversed. So in June, I feel like you're really irrationally focused on something that's giving you tunnel vision and it's not getting you anywhere and it's not doing you any favors um you're like holding on to your wealth or overly spending um and you're kind of i don't know you're not being truthful about something and this could be like you are trying to protect yourself or protect someone else's hurt feelings but you could also potentially be like lying to yourself there's some kind of deception going on um oh okay i think i kind of see what's happening now so because I'm, I'm looking ahead to get the fuller picture so in June, you are being calculated around a certain relationship where I feel like you don't truly feel like you can be yourself around this person. However, the version of yourself you feel you have to be in order to be around this person is not someone that you like and not someone that anyone else really likes. You're kind of unrecognizable in June. You're moving in weird ways. Um, I don't, I don't want to say it's entirely your fault. I just think that like you're in an environment or a culture dynamic where you feel like you don't have a choice to get away from it. Um, but it's making you a little shady, babes. It's making you move a little, a little weird. Also, be very mindful with your spending in June. Um, but also be mindful of any kind of white lies that you say during June. Because it might come off innocent. It might come off like so mundane. But then it could blow up in your face later. So just be a little bit cautious. Now, King of Swords Reverse is interesting because I feel like either it's saying you're the, the problem or someone else around you is the problem and you're like trying to navigate your life accordingly. Uh, is it me? Am I the problem? That's kind of like the vibe. So, June is like, be very assessing with your relationships and like if you catch yourself like saying or doing something that you just feel is unrecognizable, I'd question what in your environment makes you feel like you have to do those things. Yeah. So July, however, I have the full, I have Five of Swords reversed, and I have Ace of Wands. So I think that in June, something comes to a, a halt. Either you get caught out on something, or you call someone else out on something. You reach your limit with something, and ultimately, there's a conversation that is had. And then in July, there's potential forgiveness around the conflict. Five of Swords reversed is like, if you look closely at the image, it's like um, these two chickens fighting, and then like this little goat or whatever is caught in the middle. Um, that's the vibes uh and then also the full and ace of wands so i feel like something you get caught up with something in june or you hold someone else accountable in june and then the weight kind of lifts and then in july it's a little bit silly goofy fun um with the full i feel like you're more optimistic you're more willing to take chances you're more ambitious um with ace of wands i feel like you're being more creative you're trying to see what your options are what's out there for you being more extroverted. But I also get the impression that you're going to be with the full and Ace of Wands paired. I feel like you have some weird idea to start something or do something and it becomes like something that is very prosperous for you. Starting a YouTube channel, starting a hobby, starting some kind of maybe downloading a dating app. Either way, something works out for you and it's very favorable. Like you're very happy that this happens. August is a little bit interesting. I have the Hermit and I have Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like August is like, there's a lot of really great opportunities that are kind of happening now and I feel like you've decluttered a lot of the funkiness in your life that needed to kind of leave or phase out 
um, but you're like slowing down a bit. I feel like July, you kind of burn yourself out, even though you have a lot of fun and you have a lot of ambition and creativity happening in August. It's kind of like you see up ahead, you see like the plans that you want for yourself, but now you're wanting to be a little bit cozy. I think you're trying to protect your peace more in August. I think you're trying to like live more authentically and you're trying to come to terms with like what is necessary for you versus what everyone else wants you to be or I don't know. I think you're just tired of entertaining things that are no longer healthy for you or working for you. And a lot of the things that you're leaving behind, like pay attention to things in June that are popping up because I think you're like phasing them out by August, if that makes sense. I don't know. But anyways, that is my cardinal reading. And for my fixed signs, I have 10 of swords reversed, nine of wands reversed, ace of cups reversed, five of pentacles reversed, paraffin, hangman. Oh my God, is everything reversed? Oh my god, the drama. Ten of Swords reversed. You went through a dramatic change or ending recently. Uh, maybe you're... It, this could either be a relation... Okay, honestly, I think it's a relationship end or a friendship end. Some kind of... Or like grief or loss. Some kind of theme around that in June. With Ace of Cups reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, and Nine of Wands reversed. You're kind of stuck in this reflective headspace. Where honestly, you have not healed from something and you shouldn't pressure yourself to. I think that June is a good time for you to just like allow yourself to be gentle with yourself and take care of yourself because you're going through a healing process. Something happened and you're trying to get over it or you're trying to heal from it, but you're not there yet and you're not going to be. So like June is not the month to like start something new or to push yourself to get over something or sign up for a bunch of social situations when, you know, you're not sure if you're going to cry in public, which is fine. But, you know, I think that you need like more time to just do cozy things and time for yourself. But also maybe you're trying to make peace with something from the past. You're trying to heal from something. I don't know. I think like a certain relationship situation definitely was messy and you're trying to like decompress after the aftermath of it. Now in July with Five of Pentacles reverse, the Hierophant reverse and the Hangman reverse, yeah, the hangman reverse. If you're recover, okay, first of all, your your finances have not been great recently, but I think that you're rebuilding your finances in July so your finances get better. And you're trying to actively move away from unhealthy relationship dynamics. I think like June was so much grief or loss or themes around like reassessing what no longer works for you, what's no longer healthy for you. And I think in July you're not like, okay, what dynamics are healthy for me? What dynamics are working for me? But I think there's a person in your life in July that you're going to really need to... I don't know, put some boundaries up with and it's someone that you don't want to have this conversation with. Like, I think that they are someone that's like an advisor to you, an older family member, a very opinionated friend, a boss. It's like, it's almost like someone in July is kind of mirroring certain dynamics that you're trying to move away from that you've recognized you want to move away from, but they're a little bit bossy, a little bit dogmatic, a little bit in control. Um, so I don't know. I think that you really respect someone but they have a lot of opinions and ultimately they don't lead a life you want so like you gotta you're thinking about all these unhealthy dynamics in your life that you want to move away from you're trying to like i don't know i feel like you're signing up for a gym membership in july you're like a pilates girly or you want to go hiking like you want to just you want to implement healthier habits into your life in july but then you have this one person that's like over your shoulder telling you about everything that could go wrong in your life and i feel like this is the time where you're like oh maybe maybe I need to put a boundary with them too. And I think there's someone that you typically weren't going to question, but it's starting to feel like every single time you're trying to do something positive, they have something negative to say. So yeah. But side note, your money is going up again. So it did deplete, but it's going up again. August is a little bit slippy slidey because Six of Wands talks about not feeling like you have a lot of recognition or not feeling like you're having a lot of um uh support but then you also have king of cups there's themes around the whole summer where like you have these relationship dynamics kind of hold you back a bit or don't make you feel as appreciated as you deserve to feel but you need to express more boundaries you need to be more clear about what you need from your relationships you need to also avoid being so rooted in uh, what feels familiar or comfortable to you that you like stay in these toxic situations that are not benefiting you. In August, I feel like you're much more well-rounded. Like the, the lessons you've experienced all summer, you have a lot more peace. You're a lot more uh, authentic and assertive of who you are, but you still need to 
work on demanding more out of your relationships instead of these like weird one-sided dynamics. Ultimately, you've recognized that you want to be a better version of yourself, but maybe you're also recognizing that you want better versions of people around you and you know that they're capable of being better. So I just think that you're kind of in this like headspace of how can people grow with me or how can I leave them behind basically? How can they kick rocks? Um, but I do feel like you're a lot more at peace both in July and August versus June. June seems like a little bit crazy for everyone for some reason, but, but yeah so uh if you liked any of this if you felt it resonated um give it a thumbs up i don't know if i'm gonna make this video just a tarot video or if i'm gonna make you guys chop you guys into a vlog with me but okay well thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video